Hello my dudes. So one of you guys commented on my video saying treehouse. Someone called Mirabelle. Mir Mirabelle? Nothing more, nothing less. She just commented treehouse. So I assume she wants me to build a treehouse. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be building a treehouse in Bloxburg. So uh, let let's get started. Okay, so I don't really know how I'm actually going to do this. There's actually the new trees that came out, but I'm not going to use them. Instead, I think I'm going to use like two of these large organic trees and maybe like place them side by side maybe one there like that and then one here and then maybe i can have like the tree house in the middle of these two trees i was looking through pinterest and um i seen this tree house and i'm like oh that is a solid looking tree house if i ever saw one. Oh my god look at that is that even a tree house oh okay what in the harry potter is that okay we're just gonna keep it simple we're gonna build something like this so uh, these are the two trees i want oh my god should we have orange leaves i keep forgetting we all have free will on blocksburg like like what's stopping me from just having a hot pink colored tree nothing instead we just go the society norm which is green okay now there's two ways i can go about building this tree house i can either one build this out of walls or two build this out of basic shapes firstly i'm going to try building it out of walls and see if that works i can place walls up here but um it'll be like inside of the leaves so that's not going to work i think my problem is these trees actually need to be elevated more so all i'm going to do to fix this is just place like two vertical cylinders underneath these trees and then all i do is put the tree on top of this vertical cylinder and there we go we got a bigger tree stump there needs to be a gap between these two trees because I want to do like a little house here and then like a little balcony. Maybe if I just bring this wall like one forward like that and we can do something like this. I don't know how big I want this tree house. It can't be like too big. It can't be too small either. Maybe something like this. I think that's a good size. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm an idiot. Look at this. I can lift these trees up. Why did I not do that in the first place? Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks better. I just, all I had to do was lift that up. Okay, I can't really see what is going on inside the tree house. Can we just have a light in here? We have a little problem. There's a lot of leaves in here. These leaves need to politely get out of my treehouse because I ain't having no huntsman spiders crawl on my face. Okay, I think it's looking kind of cool. The, the leaves do go inside of the house, but I mean, it is a treehouse. What do you expect? I think we're just gonna stick to like a gable roof. I don't even know where to put the roof. These trees are in my face. Hold on, I gotta like sneakily make my way in here. Okay, I don't know how high I want this roof. I didn't even know roofs could be that high. Okay, I think that looks kind of cute. Now we just have to paint it. Now usually a treehouse is just made up of like wood or like wood planks and we're gonna use like dark toupee for the color. Well, the roof also also has to be made out of wood so maybe instead of wood planks we can just do like plain wood okay and we also need the floor in here which again is going to be made out of wood maybe if we do horizontal planks and like layer them to give it more of like a realistic feel for example boom why did it just do that as you don't understand the rage i have when placing floors and like roofs in blocksburg there we go look at our realistic floor and then maybe for the inside you know lately i've been obsessed with this wood grain texture so we can do that why does it look yellow Th that is disgusting wait you know why it looks yellow because there's a light in here somewhere. You are the culprit. Go away. There we go. That looks better. Also, I want to give like the outside of the treehouse more texture. So if you go in with these thin pillars and then just paint that like the same color as the roof and then we'll just put those like on the side to make it look more realistic. Also, we need to figure out where we're going to have the door. Now, usually I would put the door at the front but I feel like a window would look nice there. So I might hide the door at the side over here. This feels like I'm just doing an all wood textured house. <laughs> and then for the windows, we have a traditional door which means we're going to be using traditional additional windows so we can either have a double one at the front or we can just have a single one i think a single one looks better and then maybe the double one can go over here oh my god you know what i don't hate it it looks actually pretty cute wait you know what would look cute right here a little lantern if i put like a little sneaky oak shelf there i'm pretty sure i can fit a lantern on top of that look at that gloomy lantern also i think i really like that orangey tone color so i'm gonna leave that and i'm also gonna add a little sneaky oak shelf here and instead of lanterns we can put like flowers or something oh wait no even better hanging plants to make these different we can just like change the width and the height wait that turned out so cute and you can even see it from the inside like you can see these leaves hanging down so i might actually copy this and then add them at the back as well oh my gosh that's like 1600 oh my gosh stop i actually want to live in here okay then finally we just need a few little wall trims to give this tree house a little bit more depth okay i think that's it for the outside very very cute now what i want to do here is add like a balcony kind of surrounding the tree house and i also want a balcony going like around this tree. Actually, I kind of want the balcony going like 
all around the treehouse. Okay, I think that kind of looks good, maybe. Now we just need to add like a fence surrounding it. So if we go into fences, you can either add a farm fence or a log fence. Let's see which one looks better. Okay, that's the log fence and this is the farm fence. Or, you know, or we can just add this fence because that makes sense. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with the log fence because that kind of like suits the whole like wood vibe. So uh, my dudes, log fence it is. And then we just go around this entire thing and add a fence so we don't fall off and uh, die. Also, we need to figure out where we're going to have like the entry area. What I mean by this is like where we're going to put the stairs. I guess we can have it like here. Maybe get rid of this fence and put it here. Although I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe just out of like structurals. We can just use like large square beams. The stairs a little bit wonky, but I mean like what treehouse staircase isn't wonky, you know? Also, if I get one comment saying it's wonky, that's the whole point. Also, I'm too lazy to fix it up. Okay, it's looking pretty cute. So I guess the first thing we can work on is like the outside of the treehouse. Now the only difficult thing here, it's very hard to work when there is a big fat tree in my face. So I'm just gonna put a candle down here just so I can see what I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna keep this relatively simple. I'm just gonna have like two outdoor chairs. So I'm thinking maybe we can have these deck chairs like kind of facing each other. See, that's kind of cozy. We can also have a log bench like on this side and maybe one at the back as well. Now what I would usually do is have like a fireplace up here, but I mean having a fireplace inside of a tree house is not the safest option. So instead we're just gonna have like a little table and add a few books on top. Wait, what if we put two vertical cylinders into little wood stumps? See, that looks heaps better. Maybe we can have like a little lantern. We're just gonna have this camping lantern. So I really wanna have like a hammock. I don't think they have hammocks. Oh, they do, they have hammocks. Oh, that, wait, that's kind of perfect. I think I might get rid of this log stool and then put the hammock here. There we go, boom, hammock time. Okay, so the outdoor of the treehouse is done, I think. So now we can work on the inside and oh my gosh, I forgot there was a massive tree just poking through. <laughs> There's also another massive tree poking through here. Okay, now the only thing I'm not gonna add in this treehouse is obviously a toilet because that wouldn't make sense. So obviously here's gonna be the tiny little entry area. There's this cute like flower welcome mat, which is just perfect. You know how entry areas usually have stools? We can have this wooden stump stool. So then the hook rack can go here. We can have our coats hanging up. Okay, and I also wanna have heaps of books in here. You know, that's kind of messed up if you think about it. If you cut down a tree and you make paper with that tree, then you put the paper inside of the tree. It's kind of messed up. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna have books in here. Lots of books, lots of dead trees inside of the tree. You know, hypothetically, I would love living in a tree house, but realistically, that would be terrifying. Like, can you imagine waking up to like a big fat huntsman crawling on your face? I've woken up to that before and let me tell you, not fun. Okay, I think the entry area is looking nice and cozy. Okay, and now for the lighting, I usually use like realistic lighting, like flint or hurricane gray, but I feel like in a tree house, we need to use more warm tones. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the kitchen in this corner. That's not gonna be like a very functional kitchen. For example, we're not gonna have an oven. We don't wanna burn down the tree. Like literally this, this entire section is just gonna be the kitchen. So a few cabinets, few counters. So what's this craftsman counter? I've never used this. Okay, there we go. She kind of cute. Also, instead of adding a big chunky fridge, we're just gonna add a little mini fridge. And then we could have like a coffee machine over here. Actually, you know what? I think I might do like a nice modern kitchen. Then we can put a little sneaky microwave up here and the sink can go underneath the microwave. You know what? This is one fancy looking tree house. Like how would they even get a sink up here? This can obviously be the cutting board. So we'll leave that empty and we can have like a coffee station here. So if we add a few like jars and like a coffee mug and there we go, we have a coffee making station. And you know what? I'm feeling fancy. I want the back of the kitchen to be wallpaper. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a, there's a toddler's kitchen. Wait, that is adorable. Now I also want like an island bench, but I feel like adding a chunky island bench would just take up too much space. So I think instead we're just going to make our own island bench. So all you have to do is place three basic cubes and then put the middle one so it's like up the top and then we can just make this out of wood and there you go. You can't really fit anything on it but it's cute. Actually you know what we can fit one stool. Just one stool in there like that and then more lanterns up here to just make it more bright. I'm obsessed with adding lanterns this video. Okay you guys are gonna kill me but I changed it back to this wooden look because I mean it's a tree house it's meant to be made out of wood. Okay now we've got the entry area we've got the kitchen. I already know that I want my bed in this corner. Now in a perfect world where trees don't set on fire I would would use this fireplace right in the corner because it would look so cute but I mean there is a tree right above that fireplace okay now for the bed I can do like a bunk bed but your face would literally be inside of that leaf <laughs> so maybe not you know what I think I'm gonna do a stand and single bed like this okay so we can have the bed there nice and tucked in the corner I'm gonna make this the most cozy bed you've ever seen in your life so I'm talking blanket I'm talking pillows how many pillows you may ask not one not two not three not four but six pillows oh my gosh wait what if I make this a little sunflower bed? Oh my god, like that? So it's the color of a sunflower? Oh, stop. And 
you know what? Because we're extra, we're gonna have actual sunflowers next to the sunflower bed. You can resize the sunflowers? Hold on. What? Wait, that is so cute. Also, how did I never realize that? I also really want a TV in this room, but I'm not talking that pathetic little TV. No, darling. So I'm just gonna do what I done for my RV build, which I just put like a floating basic shape. So this way I can kind of like move where I want the TV, which means I also have room for a rustic TV stand. Now it's nearly done, but one thing that I really want to add in here is this hanging ring chair. I just don't know where to add it. Oh wait, I just thought of something. Is it kind of dangerous? Maybe. But what if we put it outside on the tree? I mean, that is kind of cool. I'm gonna do it. We also need a carpet in here to make it like nice and cozy. And one thing we are missing though is like a nice cozy chair. So I think I might put it like near the entry area and then just move this storage unit. Okay, I think the tree house is done. One thing I do really want to add though is these colorful string lights because I seen it in a Pinterest photo. They kind of had them along the top like this. So I'm gonna test it out and see if it looks good. I feel like adding LED lights around the roof will just make the tree house like stand out from a further distance. Wait, what if I also kind of like wrap them around the tree like that? You know what? It kind of worked. Okay, so the tree house is done. I think what I'm gonna do for a nice finishing touch is just go around and add some landscaping. So firstly, by adding a little mountain around the tree house like this and then the fun bit, which is adding the floor. Let me just turn the top of this mountain into grass. And now this is the expensive bit where we add trees. And you're probably like, Alaska, how expensive? How about you look at my budget? Look how quickly it goes down when I add trees. Like what? I swear, trees are genuinely like the most expensive thing you can buy in Bloxburg. If you want to build a house in the woods in Bloxburg, let me tell you, adding trees will probably cost more than your entire house. Oh my lord, look at that beautiful sunbeam just beaming through the trees. Okay, so the tree house is all finished and it comes to a total of 113,000. Without the trees, I think it's only like 80,000. Trees are really expensive. That is the moral of the story. So let's make our way inside. Oh my gosh, honestly, adding landscape to any build will make it like 10 times better. Okay, so let's make our way inside. So obviously we have this very suspicious looking staircase. You will probably fall on your way up. Okay, now the first thing we have is kind of like the outdoor balcony of the tree house. And honestly, I think this is my favorite bit. It makes it like 10 times cozier. Like, can you imagine just living in a tree house and I mean this is your view. I mean, it's all fun and games until it becomes nighttime and then it starts getting real creepy. I feel like Jacob from Twilight is gonna jump out of the bushes and say, Bella. Where the hell have you been, Loka? So yeah, not a vibe at nighttime, but I mean, during the day, total vibe. And then over here, of course, I had to add a little hammock. I don't know why I look so uncomfortable right now. Actually, you know what would make me more comfortable? My merch. There we go. Now I look comfortable. Okay, so over here, I added a little Bob Ross painting. I think this was such a nice touch. If you didn't know, there's two people I love on this planet, and that is Gordon Ramsay and Bob Ross. And what I love about this balcony is that it extends all the way across the treehouse. And I think over here is where I added the hanging chair. Yeah, we did. It's not really safe. You kind of have to like jump over the fence and kind of park all your way onto this seat. But I mean, once you're on, it's it's a total vibe. Like, look at this. This looks something out of a painting. Okay, now we just have to safely make my way onto the treehouse. Oh, would you look at that? I made my way safely on the treehouse without falling. I promise I didn't fall. Okay, let's make our way inside, shall we? So coming through this cute little door, we have the entry area. And then over here, we have the kitchen. I was originally gonna make this out of marble, but it just did not suit the vibe at all. So I went with wood and it turned out 10 times better. So this is meant to be the dining table. I could have probably added another dining table over here, but I felt like this one was pretty cute. Like you can just grab a coffee over there, sit down, drink your coffee. You know, li life is good. And instead of adding a big bulky fridge, I just added a little mini fridge and it's right next to the bed. So it's perfect. You want a little midnight snack? There you go fridge is right there. Boom. So yeah, this is my bed. Very nice and comfy. So comfy that you actually cannot see your face because there's that many pillows. And yeah, you guessed it. I added more Bob Ross paintings. And the TV over here, which is, ill. who is this man? Change the channel. There we go. Of course, you know me. I had to add a little TV. I love how I was like, yeah, let's make this treehouse realistic. And I added a floating TV. What I love about this treehouse is like, like everywhere you go, you just have this beautiful scenery to look at. And you know what? I kind of think I want to live in a treehouse. I'm, I'm not kidding. I want to live in a treehouse. <laughs> but Anyway, guys, that was me building a tree house in Bloxburg. I think this was kind of cool and um, this was definitely different and I think I love the way it turned out. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!